Coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee, where dreams are made and fame is just a boot scoot away. It's the Nashville Entertainment Weekly Show, the new show with your host, TJ Gates. This is Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Right now, we are going to interview Mr. William Bell, who is the iconic person from Stax back in the day. And uh, we just want to ask you, did you ever see a movie like this coming? Um, about Memphis and about Stacks, were you hoping something would be made like this? Well, I was hoping that we would make one, and uh, that's always been my dream to leave that legacy back here. And also, I like working with the kids, so I work with the Stacks kids. So this is a, a way of just collaborating with them and and getting them on the right foot and, and everything. So I'm I'm happy that we finally got it done. Yeah, that part of the movie really is inspiring. I mean, I've, I've known about that Stax Academy for a while, but I'd never gotten to see the inside of, of what, what goes on and how they get to work with legends like yourself. Um, what was the best part of the movie that you think? Well, I, I just like uh, the fact that the, the different generations are collaborating and exchanging ideas with music because music itself is the universal language and it transcends all generations and barriers and everything so I, I was just happy to see that gel and come together. Yeah, I was so excited to see this movie because I'd seen the Muscle Shoals movie and I'd seen 20 Feet from Stardom and a lot of that kind of music is, is just kind of near and dear to my heart. So I was so excited to see, uh, it's called Take Me to the River, by the way. You guys have got to see this movie, but Absolutely. I think everyone that saw it was like teared up at the end because they're like, you know, Memphis needs to come back with the music and, um, you know, hopefully something like this will be really good for Memphis. Well, I think this will be a shot in arm, you know, because um, everywhere we've uh, screened this movie, we've got just great reactions on it and they laugh, they cry, they cheer. So that's a good thing. When you can get those wide range of emotions from people, it's always good. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Bell. And um, is there anything that you want to say about this movie that I haven't asked you already? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the main thing is the theme of the movie is passing the torch. As you can see within the movie, and we don't want to give too much away, mm -hmm. but a lot of the iconic uh, people are, are going on and passing. And uh, But the legacy is being left behind and instilled in the youngsters, and that's the main thing that I'm glad that people are getting. Are there any artists today that you think um have so much influence from stacks and maybe from your era that you just go wow i really really like that you can just say oh my goodness i really really like what they're doing right now is there anything you can just go well, oh my goodness you, actually from the generation of the stacks era so many of the iconic artists are gone now but you mm -hmm. still got steve proper booker t oh, yeah. and he's in the movie of course mm -hmm. um, and then you you've got sam moore which from sam and dave but so many of our peers are, are gone, and uh, it's just a shame that they didn't get to see this in, in the fruitation you know, fruit of yeah. it. And um, I hope uh, in the near future that we can come with a sequel to it that will even be bigger and, and better than this one. Yeah. That's what I hope so much as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with us oh, today. thank you. Thanks. Let's go. He ain't got your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't